worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You're worthy to be praised. Help me say, hallelujah, yes. hallelujah. You're worthy, You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah.
service. We welcome you to worship on Wednesday. We welcome you to join in and give God praise and glory and hallelujah, highest praise for who he is and what he is doing. Tonight as we go before the Lord together, we are thinking about the reason for our praise, the reason for our worship, the reason for our thanksgiving, the reason for our gratitude, none other than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So come on, wow him, worship him, give him your praise. Father God, tonight we honor you. We invite you into this moment. We welcome you, Lord God, into our, our efforts, Lord God, to give you the glory that's due to your name. Father, we ask in and through the name of Jesus that the spirit of the living God would now rest upon us and anoint us, Lord God, to give you what you so richly deserve. And that is praise from a pure heart, God. That is worship in spirit and in truth tonight, oh God. As we marry, Lord God, our worship with your word tonight. Edify, exhort, and comfort, Lord God. Take us away, God. Catch us up, Lord God. Fill us up, Lord God, with your precious Holy Ghost. Have your way in and through us tonight. Anoint now your vessel, Lord God. And in Christ Jesus' name, Lord God, we worship and praise you. Hallelujah. right there hallelujah God you're wonderful and we bless you how excellent you are God how marvelous you are how glorious you are High on the throne, 
I shout your name Let it be known You are the King of Kings The Prince of Peace May your kingdom reign Never cease Help me say lion
your lion of Judah on tonight. Come on and rejoice wherever you are in the sanctuary. Wherever you are online, begin to give him praise, give him glory. Hallelujah. We serve a God. That he's not just the lamb, but he is a lion also. Hallelujah. Glorify your name tonight. Father God, we love you. We magnify you. We bless you in this sanctuary. We lift up our hands tonight as an act of surrendering to you, to your word, to your presence, and to your power. We pray tonight what some word is spoken that might encourage your saints, might give strength to the believer, and Lord, might draw those that don't know you on tonight. Remind them on tonight, God, that you can do anything but fail. We love you and we magnify you. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray. We thank you. And we celebrate in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some glory. Hallelujah. 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 If y'all give me a little bump on this mic tonight, I'm like, I need all of it tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for this opportunity to be able to fill in for our pastor on tonight. Amen. Normally we would, we would be doing the series on leadership. Amen. But I hear the Lord today as I sat down to hear what he would say to the church to be a cheerleader tonight I want you to encourage I want you to edify tonight and to bring encouragement to the body of the believers 
Hallelujah. Philippians, the third chapter. Amen. Let me just uh, go back, give honor to not only our pastor and first lady in their assets, but to our bishop, Lady Angela in Jacksonville, to Bishop Von McLaughlin. Amen. We want to thank the Lord for them and for their leadership on tonight. Uh, to the elders councils and to the uh, officers and members of this local assembly. We thank you. To our viewers on tonight, God bless you. We are humbled by your tuning in each week. We thank God for you and we pray that the Lord will move on your behalf and that he will continue to bless and keep you as you continue to study the word of God. Hallelujah. Philippians 3 starting at the 13th verse. Hallelujah. Those that can stand. Hallelujah. Brother, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word on tonight. Amen. If you would, for a few minutes, amen. I want to help somebody on tonight. I don't know about you, but 2022 has been a roller coaster. Amen. And I hear the Lord just telling me in my spirit, I'm done with this. We moving forward. Hallelujah. I'm done with this. Is there anybody else that got that in your spirit? I'm done with this. Hallelujah. I'm done with this. I don't know what your this is, but I can go down the roll call or what my this is. I, I'm, I'm done with the, the, these health issues. I, I'm, I'm done with having more bills than I got money. I, I'm done with, with, with people causing me unnecessary headaches. I'm done with this. I'm done with doors being shut in my face. I'm done uh, uh, with, 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 with the naysayers running their mouth and don't know what they talk about. I'm done with this. Hallelujah. As I, as I look at the calendar and I realize I got 10 more days and I'm going into a new year. I can begin to celebrate now. The, 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 the songwriter wrote the song, don't wait till the battle's over. Shout now. So I, I'm not going to wait until I cross over into 2023. I'm going to shout now knowing that I already have the victory. Amen. Just a little Bible study on tonight. I just want to just remind somebody that I, I know things might not be the way you want them to go. I know you, you might not have all the answers and, and, and it may not have come to you yet, but keep on believing in the power of God because he's still a healer. He's still a deliverer. He's still a way maker. He still has all power in his hands and he cannot and he will not fail. Hallelujah. As I began to, 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 to sit down and, and look at this, I, I, I was reminded uh, of, of the song that says, it's over now. I thought about Luther Vandross. Some of y'all might, be, might, might, be, might, might not be a Luther Vandross scholar like I am, but the, the, he, he wrote this song. He said, it's over now. And the first words he said after that, you treated me so bad. It's over now. That's how, that's how I feel tonight. 2022 treated me so bad, but I'm celebrating because it's over now. I'm done with this. Hallelujah. So, so, so as we begin to look at this scripture that says, I'm pressing forward. I'm moving forward. I'm not going to reflect on the things that are behind me. Now, I didn't say I wasn't going to forget about them. 
I'm just not going to dwell on them. I'm not going to allow it to consume me. I'm not going to allow it to keep me unfocused and get to the prize. Because uh, uh, one thing I do recognize is the devil will use obstacles to keep you from getting to the finish line. And, and he'll use any and everything and anybody that, to keep your mind messed up, to keep you uh, going the wrong way. But I, 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 tonight I'm focused as ever before. And, and, and the one thing I do know is I can see myself crossing the finish line tonight. I'm done with this foolishness that's keeping me back, that's holding me down. I'm done with it. I had a good old self, 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 self check uh, and just said, okay, uh, that, that didn't help me manifest, so I'm letting it go. That didn't, that didn't bless me financially, so I'm letting it go. Uh, that didn't help me get a raise or a promotion, I'm letting that go. And we got to begin, as we begin to move forward, as we begin to press toward the things that God has for you, you might need to ask yourself, shake yourself. Some of the things, that's, some of the things you, you might not even realize you carry it. So this is a good time to begin to shake yourself. Shake off the things that's holding you, that holding you down, that's anchoring you down, that's keeping you from moving. Some of you should be further along than where you are, but you can't get there because you got stuff, things, people, places holding you down. Which brings me to my next point. It got to go. It got to go. Because, see, I, I, I don't want to be like the soldier that's marking time. The soldier that's marking time, feet is moving, legs is going. But he's not moving anywhere. I got to go. I, 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 I've been doing this too long to still be in the same place that I'm in. There was a little thing on, when I was growing up, I used to watch Sesame Street. It was this little thing that they would do every now and then, and it would go something like this. One of these things does not belong here. One of these things are not the same. One of these things does not belong here. And then you would have to look and figure out which one don't belong and move it out the way. And ask my, I'll just say that to yourself. What, some of these things don't belong here. <laughs> some of these things are not the same. I don't know who I'm helping tonight, but when, when God put that in my spirit, I said, thank you, Lord. It's time to move some things out the way, some, 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 some people out the way. So it's time for me to change my mindset the way I'm thinking. I got to think differently because I'm going to a new place. I'm doing new things. Amen. So the way that I'm thinking now, I might not, I might not be able to think that way. I have to change my mindset. It's got to go. Let me read this scripture here. This might help somebody. This is the reason why you got to let it go because in Lamentations 3, 22 and 23 says this. It is the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion fails not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness I'm so glad that he doesn't change that even when people change and when things may not be going the way you want them to do that he's consistent he, he, he's, he's going to come to your rescue he's going to work on your behalf he's going to fight for you that even when you give up and when you lose uh, uh, start to have doubt he's still consistent he still lets you know I got all power in my hands that's why I can say that I'm done with this because I know that now that I, since I've changed my mindset, since I've changed the way I walk, since I've changed the way that I'm talking, since I'm, I'm doing things differently and now that I've turned it over to him, that, that I can't stay where I'm at if I've done all that. Hallelujah. That's why I can always go to my life scripture when I, when I get confused about what it is I'm supposed to do or should be doing or how I'm doing it. I just go to Proverbs 3, 5, five, five and 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. 
And lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. How many of you so many times have tried to figure it out on your own? Only to find out that you can't do it. Spent countless hours trying to come up with an idea, trying to come up with a plan, trying to come up with uh, well, who you can resources that you can get to make your situation better. And all you had to do was get on your knees and have a little talk with Jesus and tell him all about your trouble. And he will hear your faintest cry. The song says he'll answer by and by. He's faithful and just to heal you and to forgive you. He will do what he said he will do. He's consistent. Every time he, he, every time he goes to do a healing, somebody gets healed. Check the, check the Bible. If he said be healed, when they left his presence, they was healed. If they was dead and he told them to wake up, they, when he left their presence, they were alive and walking. Some of us along the way have forgotten who he is and how powerful he is. And our, our circumstances have just uh, bombarded us so much that we have just forgotten where to go when things get rough. But I don't know about you. I'm done with all that. I'm trying to get to the finish line. I'm not, just, I'm not just trying to get to the finish line. I'm going to get to the finish line. I'm going to cross the finish line. Hallelujah. Uh, which brings me to my, 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 uh, my other point. I must go. Because there's something waiting for me on the other side. I can't continue to stay here because if I stay here, I never get what God has for me. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you, 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 you're scared to move to the next level. Don't be scared. Allow God to elevate you. Allow God to promote you. Allow God to lift you up to the next level. Uh, and, and, and along with that, walk in it. Be confident that he's going to keep you. He, the word says he will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him if you got your mind stayed on him and you're constantly uh, praying and you're constantly in your word uh, uh, building yourself up on your most holy faith you, you, you can rest assured that he's going to bring you through with no problem unscathed no scratches he's going to cover you hallelujah Matthew 7 and 7 says this. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door unto you will be open. Hallelujah. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and it, you shall find. Knock, and it shall be open unto you. Hallelujah. Follow the steps. It's climactic. Before you can do anything else, you got to ask. You got to have a conversation with the Lord. You got to have a relationship with him. You got to court him. Hallelujah, somebody. It's, it's this, it, you know, I don't know about you, but it, growing up in my house, I, I, we didn't just expect nothing. We had to ask. If you was hungry, you had to say, I'm hungry, may I have something to eat? You couldn't just walk in, go in the refrigerator and start cooking nothing. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I, I know that's how it was. You couldn't just walk in the house, open up the refrigerator and start cooking nothing. That, that, that right there, you find yourself getting up off the floor. <laughs> Hallelujah, anyhow, hallelujah. But the Lord wants you to talk to him, hallelujah. He wants to hear you. He wants you to, 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 to love on him. He wants you, you to bring uh, your problems to him so that he can prove 
to the devil again. That this is mine. This one belongs to me. And when they call me, I'm going to come to their rescue. Hallelujah. He's ready. He's ready to make you another testimony. Hallelujah. Anybody have, have, have a testimony on today? Anybody? Oh, y'all, y'all didn't get quiet. Don't nobody have a testimony here? Y'all didn't, oh, y'all went to sleep. Okay, okay. Talk back to me. Talk back to me. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. We, we about to go in a few minutes. Hallelujah. He, he, matter of fact, I'm looking at testimonies as I'm scanning, scanning the sanctuary. All the time. I'm looking at walking testimonies. I'm, walk, I'm looking at people that have been healed. I'm looking at people that have been healed uh, uh, physically, uh, mentally. I'm looking at people that God has given promotions to. I'm looking at, at people that God has performed miracles in front of your, right in front of your very eyes. I'm looking at people that, that God has his hands on. I'm looking at people with testimonies. Hallelujah. Which brings me to this, and I'm almost, almost done. Just want to remind somebody that as we approach our new year, there's some things you're going to have to let go. Some things you should want to let go. There's some things that are imperative that you walk away from. Don't take it into the new year. Don't carry baggage. <laughs> Hallelujah. Isaiah 43 and 16 reads like this. Thus said the Lord, who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty waters, who brings forth the chariots and horses. The armies and the power, and they shall lie down together they shall not rise and they are extinguished they are quenched like a wick do not remember the form of things nor consider the things of old behold I will do a new thing now it shall spring forth and shall do and shall you not know it I will even make the road of the wilderness and the rivers of the deserts, the beast of the fields that will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, because I've given water in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen, my people I have formed for myself. They shall declare my praise. So let me let me break this down how I saw this, how God showed this to me. He showed, he showed this to me and I read this. I was like, as we go into this new year and we begin to get rid of things that we don't need anymore. I, 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 as you like I said, some of for some of us, some things been been tagging along and not been paying rent. It's just you know, been, it's been rent free. It's been living with you rent free. But 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 you gotta let it go. You just go and give us the eviction papers. Hallelujah. So when I look at this, it, it it says that the Lord will make the sea a pathway in the mighty waters. It takes me back back to at the Red Sea when the children of Israel got to the Red Sea. They had an impossible situation in front of them, and they had hell on their tails. Because Pharaoh and his men was, were on their way to come and kill him. I don't know who this is today, but you, but you got an impossible situation in front of you. And you got hell behind you, and you need God to make a pathway in your life on tonight. That, that's what I see God doing. It says that he will make a path through the mighty waters. He's about to separate the waters and allow you to cross over what will cause you to sink. 
what would cause, what would normally consume you, what would normally drown you, he's about to separate it and move it from side to side to allow you to walk over unto dry land. He's about to allow you to manifest on the other side, but you can't continue to focus on what's behind you. Hallelujah. He's shown you evidence of what the men on the chariot can do and, and what the horsemen can do and the footmen can do. He's already given you evidence uh, and, and he's always shown you. He's already shown you what the tax man can do to you. He's already showed you uh, what e, uh, AES can do to you. He already showed you what the repo man can do to you. He already showed you what the, uh, what the uh, food prices at the grocery store going to do to you. But he wants you to remember that his power is greater than the great army that's behind you. His power is stronger than the army that's coming against you. His power is great. We sing that song. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. We sing that. And somebody ought to believe that tonight. He, he, we, ought to, we ought to just have that in our spirit every day as we go on through day to day and, and some come and hit us. And, but mm, my God is stronger. My God is great. You should just have your own worship service right there just as soon as it hits you. Hallelujah. But he comes and he showed, and then I like how, how he put that, they said, is that he comes as an extinguisher and he, and he comes and he squeezes, he squidges, he, he, have you ever seen a candle when that's burning, you just, he just pinches it, he squinches it. Hallelujah. He, that's how he does to your problem. And that's what he does to your problem. It's bigger than you. It's stronger than you. It's got you all upset and confused and frustrated and he just come and, uh, have that right there. Like it's a candle on a birthday on a birthday cake that somebody didn't want to blow out. He just psst. I don't know about you. So just go and say squinchy Jesus. <laughs> Come on, squinchy Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. While we sitting here having, a, having our own fit, having our own uh, meltdown, having our own uh, pity party, crying in the middle of the floor, laying in the bed, trying to figure out how we going to do the next thing. He's working it out on your behalf. All you have to do is be done with it. And accept the fact that you don't have to stay there where you are. You can move forward. It says that he will, he will make roads in the wilderness. He's cutting down some trees that's in your way. Oh, hold, help me, Holy Ghost. Right there. I, I could just see myself walking, uh, walk, walking through the forest and, and, and then, uh, and then as, as every step I take, I could just see he's suddenly making a path. He's moving it out my way. Anybody just say, move it, Jesus. Move it out my way. Come on, talk to him tonight. Don't talk to me, talk to him tonight. Move it, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's moving it out your way. He's putting rivers in the desert. Those places in your life that's been dry, those places in your life that's been real hot, he's about to not only uh, 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 quench your thirst, but he, he's also about, about to bring flowing rivers. He's about to bring your situation to life. Hallelujah. He's bringing rivers to your desert. I don't know about you, but I've been in the desert before. It's not a whole lot. Matter of fact, there's, there's only a few rivers. There's only a few that we know of now. Now, thousands of years ago, it may have been more water. But in, in today's, it's only a few. I've seen the Nile River. It's pretty big in real life. But when you stand it out there in the desert where the pyramids are, you don't see no water. As far as you can see, it's sand. 
And I just, I just, I just first natural, then spiritual in my life. I'm just look, I'm looking at the God. I don't see any water. In, I don't see any water in certain places in my life. God, I need you to bring some rivers for me tonight as I go into my new season. As I go into, to, as, as I go into my new destiny. As I walk into my new year, I need some rivers in my desert, Lord. I need some things to come alive. Hallelujah. He's, he's bringing things and resources and things to the, the people around you and the things in, in your area. Look what he says. The, to the, 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 the jekyll and the ostrich is going to be happy. Why? Because he's, put, he's, he's putting stuff there that they need. The beast of the field. Hallelujah. I'll give them water in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. He's giving them stuff they need. So, so, so if he's giving it to the beast, if he's giving it to the, to the jackal and to the outer, if he's giving it to, the, to, 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 to all the other creatures, why won't he give it to the one that he made himself met self after? Why wouldn't he give it to the ones that he created at his own image? Did, 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 is there anybody else that caught that revelation? I, I'm, I, I heard, I heard, and I read it in the Bible. I'm a king's kid. I get the inheritance. Do you think he would keep the blessings from his own that's supposed to get the inheritance? The beast don't get the inheritance. The jackal don't get the inheritance. Now, the jackal might steal it or try, but it's not, it's not his. It's not hers. Look what it says at, at the end part of 20. Verse 20. It says, He gives drink to my people, my chosen. You have been chosen. You have been bought with a price. Hallelujah. Somebody should have just shouted right there. You have been bought with the price. He shared his blood on Calvary. I'm going, I'm going back. Baptist 101 right here. He shared his blood on Calvary's cross. He hung, he bled, he died, and he got up with all power in his hands. Hallelujah. There's an empty tomb there to prove that he got up. Hallelujah. They can't find his bones nowhere. All they know is he was buried there, but he's not there no more. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad because it don't stop right there. He went to hell, got the keys from hell, and now he sits on the right hand of God the Father making intercession for me and you that we might one day rejoice and celebrate and live there forevermore. Hallelujah. Somebody should have just got saved. Why did he do that? Because I'm his own. I'm his chosen. It says in verse 21, this people I have formed for myself. They shall praise, they shall declare and praise. So let me help somebody. You want to know how you're going to get to the other side? I wish I had a real churchy organist right about now. How <laughs> you don't know you're going to get to the other side? <laughs> you got to go up with your hands up. You got to go up celebrating that. You got to go up believing that it's already done before it happens. You got to go up uh, thanking him in advance uh, for the victory that's already been done in your life. You got to go through knowing that nobody but Jesus did this. Uh, I couldn't pay for it. I didn't deserve it. I didn't have enough strength of my own. But it was him and him all alone that manifested that magnified it that glorified it that made it happen on my behalf when I didn't even believe that it could happen he did it for me hallelujah it says that it says that he, he they, 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 they that they declared it and they praised the Lord 
I don't know what you're believing him for. I don't know what you're expecting from him. But as we go the rest of these 10 days, somebody need to cry out free, 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 free. You need to begin to celebrate and thank him in advance for making you free, for making you whole, for setting you straight, for making the doors open, opening up windows of heaven and pouring out blessings that you don't have room to receive for healing your body, for saving your children, for touching your crazy man and why you doing all that just tell the devil I'm done with this these things will not hold me hostage these things will not hold me in bondage. These things will not keep me from reaching my destiny. These things will not keep me from manifesting. I'm pressing toward the mark of the prize of the hard calling. I'm pressing. I'm making my way to him tonight. I'm making my way to the other side. I'm crossing the finish line. Why? Because I know Abba Father is waiting for me at the finish line to give me my reward, to give me my medal, to help me share with somebody that he can do it for a whole boy out of Detroit that was crazy as a loom. Made ways out of nowhere. If you knew the story, you would celebrate with me. If, if, you, if you knew how I was in and out, being real slick. <laughs> if, 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 you, if you knew how, how, how I was doing, making my moves, making my ways. You would celebrate with me that, I, that, that this old church boy right here didn't get killed. That didn't get cut down right in the middle of his mess. I'm talking about before and after salvation. Even when I got here. Even when I got here. Serving in the house of the Lord. Believe in Jesus, saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, but I still had my hustle hand moving. But now I trust and believe totally on him for what I need. Hallelujah. And understanding that even if he don't do it, he's still able to do it, Elder Craig. I'm done with this. I just believe that there's got to be a better way, Elder. Going into this new year, it got it got to be more than what it is right now. It got, it got to be more than what I can see with my physical eye. I'm expecting more from Jesus on the other side. I'm expecting more in 2022. Actually, I'm expecting more when I leave up out of here. I don't have to wait 10 days. I can believe that right now he's already done it for me. He can do it right now. I need a divine intervention on his behalf. I need him to step right in on my behalf and prove and show somebody that he still is in control. I'm like, Pastor, I'm tired of the phone calls. I know my job is to pray, but sometimes I just be want to say, God, I don't even know what to say to you no more about certain situations. I just need you to do it. It seems like I'm praying the same prayers for different folks. I just need you to do it, God. I need you to put your hand on it. I need, I need, you, I need you to save them. I need you to heal them. I need you to deliver them. And while you're doing that for them, God, don't forget about me. 
Allow me to stay strong. Allow me to stay bold before your people, oh God. Don't let them see me fall. But if they do see me fall, God, allow them to see me get back up. Hallelujah. I'm done with it. I'm about to hurry up, sit down, because I feel something swelling up. I feel, I feel something swelling up on the inside, but, but I'm done with it. I'm like Jesus when he said, it's finished. <laughs> and to thee, I commit my spirit. <laughs> I'm giving it all to you right now, God, because it, I, I don't want to go through with it no more. I don't, I don't want to want to hang on to it no more. I'm going to give it to you right now, God, because I know if I give it to you, you're going to fix it. I know you know what to do with it. I'm done with it. I'm done with this. Hallelujah. Tonight, Adrian, before you go to bed, just kind of have a self-reflection of what your this is. And as you say in your prayer tonight, I say, God, I'm done with this. I dare you to write, I dare you to write a list and put it on put it put it on the side of your bed or put it on your refrigerator, on your on your on your your mirror. You know, if you live live by yourself, you know, you can do stuff like that. Just put it up on the wall. So every time you walk past, it's like, yeah, I'm done with that. You got to confess it with your mouth and believe it in your heart. It's the same thing like getting saved. It, it, to, until you say it with your own mouth and believe it. Because if somebody else saying it, that you, that's just them saying it. There's no conviction. But you got to believe it. Faith without works is dead. Your faith activates it. And then your belief confirms it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord on tonight. I'm done with this. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. If you're done with it, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> I'm done with it. Hallelujah. I got a whole, I got a whole, I got a long list, but I'm done with it. And look here. I, I don't care if you know what's on my list. I'm still done with it. Because <laughs> you know some people will try to ear hustle and be trying to look and see what's on your paper. But for real, for real, it'll, you, you shouldn't be concerned about what's on my paper. You need to be worried about what's on your own paper. Hallelujah. I felt the school teacher come out right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everybody stand in that can. We believe the Lord on tonight for his word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We pray that something was said that might bless you, encourage you, even deliver, set you free. We pray that someone tonight may be able to grab hold to the solid rock and believe that he's still in control. Hallelujah. We glorify him on tonight for just reminding us that he can do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. Hallelujah. Why? Because he's able. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. To that one that's listening to us by Facebook, we pray tonight that if you have not chosen the Lord Savior, Jesus Christ as your Savior, that you might do so. If you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus tonight, that he died for you. And for me, shed his blood on Calvary's cross. Hallelujah. That he was buried and that he got up with all power in his hands. The Bible says that if you could believe that tonight, you shall be saved. We pray tonight that something that was said that might draw you closer. We pray tonight for those that need healing, that need comfort, that need peace, that needs joy, that you might receive that on tonight. We pray tonight, Lord, that wherever you are, 
whatever you're battling with, that you might give it to Jesus tonight. We pray for those that are homeless tonight. Lord, that you would keep them, keep them warm, keep their minds at peace. We pray, Lord, that you would give us the right resources to be a blessing to those that are homeless and that you give us the witty inventions to help those that are in hospital homes dealing with illness. Lord, that you would even touch us tonight. Lord, that we might make ways that might help your people. Lord, bless us as we leave this place, but never from your care. Bless those that will be bringing your seed on tonight, giving their tithes and their offerings. As they be obedient on tonight, Lord, bless the 90. Magnify it in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. God keep you. Is our prayer for you.